understanding leadership. I, how many of you fly Southwest? Yeah, great airline. Great airline, your bags fly free. Uh, open seating, okay? I, get, I don't know about you, but I always try to get in that A category or the B category because I'm assured, I'm assured the window seat or an aisle seat. And if I have one of those seats and those C people are coming on board and there's an empty seat between me and the window, what do I do? Get my briefcase out. <laughs> I open that USA Today, I, I do everything that I can to hide that seat. They've already said the flight's full. <laughs> They've already said, I know someone, am I, am I filtering here to see, you know, do I want a, a 400 pound linebacker sitting next to me or, or, or someone who stopped and, and got some, uh, some Popeyes, some fried chicken, yeah. Atlanta's famous for that. They get Popeye's fried chicken and get on the plane, and you've got to smell fried chicken, and, and they don't offer you any. <laughs> you, know, you hide that seat. We become protective. You, you kind of eyeball people. You don't put your friendliest face on. You want them to say, hey, I don't sit next to that guy or that lady. My wife and I were on a Southwest flight a few years ago, and it was a crowded flight. We were in the seas, so there were no two seats together. So we were trying to maneuver through and see if someone would trade seats and whatnot. Nothing. The flight attendants were no help. There was an elderly woman sitting in a row on the end. There was an empty seat. And she got up and she came up to me. She says, it looks like the two of you would like to sit together. She says, I'll be happy to give up my seat to you and I'll take one of those center seats. Now, what was the difference between Fred, who's sitting in his aisle seat with the empty seat, eyeballing everybody that's coming on, opening the USA Today, putting his briefcase there, and you know, making that look as occupied as he can, compared to that lady who got up and offered her seat? What's the difference? A seat's a seat, right? It's about people and not the process. And leadership is when you see others as people and not as objects. All too often, we see the nurse. We see the receptionist. We see the waiter. We see the Uber driver. We see the homeless person. And we put a label on them. We don't see them as people. When you, when you begin to see others as people and not as objects, you've taken a giant leap into the leadership arena.